Here's our tale of the tape. It's South Africa versus Great Britain. Lauren T. Nelson, 29 years old, six feet even with a 75 inch reach. As for Diedrich, he's 24, 5'11", 73 and a half. When it comes to professional experience, a big edge for Amari Diedrich, but Laurent T. Nelson, this is his fifth glory fight. He's been in the glory ring a few more times than Diedrich has, so let's see if that could be an advantage for him. Here are the rules tonight. Three rounds, three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees are the legal strikes. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight, and it's a TKO. And the following bouts will be scored using the following prioritized criteria, starting with knockdowns followed by cumulative damage inflicted, followed by number of clean scoring strikes with an emphasis on spectacular techniques. Then we look for normal scoring techniques. Finally, if there's no clear advantage, judges look for aggression. We do have open scoring tonight. Three judges will score this fight on the 10-point must system. You will see their scores after each round on your screen. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this welterweight matchup scheduled for three three-minute rounds and introducing first fighting out of the black corner he won the united kingdom eight-man road to glory tournament last year as a professional 19 wins with eight losses five of those wins coming by way of knockout he stands five feet 11 inches tall 1.80 meters and he weighed in at fight time at 169 and one half pounds 76.9 kilograms he's in chicago tonight Fighting out of Nottingham, England. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Amari Diedrich. Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the white corner. He won his first two glory starts, including a unanimous decision here in Chicago. As a professional, eight wins with two losses, half of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet even, 1.83 meters, and he weighed in at 168 and one half pounds, 76.4 kilograms. Fighting out of South Africa, by way of Denver, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, here is L.T. Smash Nelson. Your referee in charge of this bout is Oscar Martinez. All right, gentlemen, again, Final instructions have been given. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. LT, any questions? Diedrich, any questions? Touch them up, gentlemen. Back to the corners. I don't expect either one of these guys to step backwards. Yep, you're going to see Diedrich pressure. I get, you're going to see Laurent T. Nelson try to use a little bit more angles, stance right. switches. Fight! I'm excited for this one. LT smash in the white gloves. Amari Diedrich in the black. What do you make of Nelson moving up a weight class for this fight? Well, I think, he, you know, Dietrichs isn't a huge welterweight, so I don't think it's a big deal for Nelson, especially that tough mentality he has. I don't think it's going to be a problem for him. But Dietrich thinks that, you know, he'll have the advantage being a natural welterweight. But there's one thing Nelson has shown us. It is he is very tough. And it's surprising you're seeing Dietrich come out as a southpaw and really use his left kicks. You know, usually an orthodox fighter, but kick fighting really well right now. Nelson with a low kick. Quick hands being shown there by Diedrich. Yeah, Diedrich's got good low kicks, and you're gonna see him mix levels with his left hook, chop the legs, use ring control. Yeah. Nice start by Diedrich. Yeah, very nice. Hook, low kick, back to the hook. Mixing his knees, the way he's switching stances, very nice so far. Good start from Diedrich. Both guys really showing intelligent stance switching, which is really difficult to learn one stance, and these guys are able to fight at the highest level in both stances. Nelson said he didn't have a fight camp per se for this bout, said he's always in shape. He never needs to have a fight camp. Took this on two weeks notice. So it looks like Diedrich, when he's in a southpaw, is going to use his kicks. And then when he wants to power punch, he'll turn to an orthodox stance. You see him, yeah, as soon as he goes to his orthodox, that left hook, right low kicks comes. And then when he goes back to the southpaw, left kick. Diedrich has a tattoo of a lion and a wolf on his back. I said, well, who's going to win that battle? He says, I don't know yet. My tattoo's not done. Yep. 
Smart game plan strategy so far. Quick little Andrew. right hand on the inside for Nelson. Yep, he's, he's slowly getting more comfortable. He's trying to use his angles, trying not to come in on a straight line. Move his head off. Ooh, good knee from Diedrich there. That's going to slow Laurent T down. Amari Diedrich won an eight-man Road to Glory middleweight tournament. That's how he got on Glory's radar. Comes in with a 19-8 and eight professional record. And he had an impressive debut against Danny Trari, who's very tall, very awkward, but he was able to use this pressure to get a, a split decision win. And then he met Troy Jones at that Glory 68 Miami. Didn't go his way, but didn't slow him down one bit. He's back, motivated, fight out, John. and will go, fight hey. anybody. So that'll do it for the first round. A good one for Diedrich, but Nelson got stronger as the round went along, and that's what he usually does. Yep. He gets stronger the longer the fight goes. Yeah, you can't put this guy down. Nicknamed LT Smash. Was born in South Africa, so he had a great life growing up. Wanted to be an NHL player for a while, but fell in love with fighting. As you see in his corner giving him instruction, Justin Houghton. But they weren't letting him off. Glory veteran giving him the advice just before he goes out. Switch pops on the orthodox. Fight! Round two. All glory fights are three rounds except for the title fights. We'll see one later tonight. That'll be a five round. All three judges scoring it for the man from Nottingham, England. Yeah, back to the orthodox. We're going to see left hook, right low kick. It's coming. I really like the style that Diedrich's bringing, but you heard the corner of Laurent T. Nelson. Pressure, he needs to pressure. He needs to do a little bit more now. Good right hand by Nelson, but Diedrich answers back in kind. Yeah. That's better, though, from Nelson. He needs to kind of move on angles, keep his head off center line. He needs to do more this in this next round here. He can't just wait and let Diedrich play his game. Nice jab from T. Nelson. Yep. And now he's mixing angles with his punches. We saw him come up with a nice uppercut, stepping outside the lead leg. If, if I was Laurent T. Nelson, I would really get punch heavy when I see Diedrich in a southpaw. Most guys aren't as good defensively on their opposite side, so that could be a good opportunity for him to really blast the hands when he sees him as a southpaw. Good left hook there from Diedrich. He has also landed a few low kicks, little sneaky low kicks. Yeah, definitely a better round for Nelson. Fight your way out. Stop. Clean break. Nelson, 7-7 seven and seven as an MMA fighter. He's had seven pro boxing fights as well, 10 professional kickboxing bouts. Basically, you call him and say, you're fighting. He doesn't care what the discipline is. And it was crazy, too. Like He, he had no amateur experience in kickboxing. All of his kickboxing experience has come as a professional. Nelson very comfortable throwing those knees now. And he's felt the power. I mean, maybe. Oh, oh. And he sends Amari Dietrich down. Amari Diedrich did not expect this. In fact, not Good. too many people did. He was a heavy favorite. Let's see if Nelson can close him out. Yeah, you just say, if you're Nelson, you got to get aggressive with those punches. Dictate the pace. He landed the right hand again. Diedrich in trouble, but he lands a left hook. They are opening up on each other. What a right. battle here in round two. G oh, he just landed. On my break, stop until I say fight. Good. 20 fight. seconds to go. We still may see another knockdown here. This is the fight we expected. This, both of these guys will very content sitting in the right pocket. Up. Stop, break. Come on, guys, let me say that. Fight. Under 10 to go, Nelson with a knee and it connects. What a round between these two warriors. Ah. DJ 
Cedric up off the canvas and lands some power punches of his own. Yeah, they sat in the pocket. They just went back and forth. Both eight big shots. It was almost good to see who's going down first. No, now you Let's take a look at that knockdown show. Yeah, Nelson started pressuring a little bit better now. Came in, started throwing his punches in combinations, and that's when he found that right hand. Once he started, you know, boycotting the single punches, started using combinations, and that's why he got that knockdown. Then he started getting comfortable. You saw him start. You know you're comfortable when you're starting to throw jump knees, flying knees. So you can see that Nelson's a lot more comfortable now. But you can see just mixing angles and they're both landing the shots, but Nelson got the better one in that in that exchange. Seconds out. And then mouthpiece right at the mouthpiece. bell, he wasn't done. Diedrich, mouthpiece. And keep in mind, it's Nelson Ready? who's moving up a weight Last class. Round, you would think Diedrich's Fight. punches would do more damage, but that was not the case in round two. They came out swinging in round three. Nelson's going right after it. You're gonna see Diedrich being fine there. He's all right with it. He's all about excitement. He's got to be careful dipping his head in the clinch like that. So all three judges scoring at 10-8 for Nelson, which means if Diedrich can win this third round by 10-9 score, we could go to an extra round. But that's saying a lot because Nelson is feeling it right now. Yeah, he's just... All, he's just continually throwing those jump knees. You got to see Amari maybe throw something, try to catch him as he's coming in. Oh, and Nelson's got to be careful. Maybe he's a little overconfident right now. And the reason Dietrich won that first round, he, he played a technical fight, but Nelson in that second round brought the pressure. Now we have a fight. Right out. Hands up. It's only a matter of time before it turned into this type of fight. Amari told us yesterday he'd love to just slug it out with Nelson. Said there's no way he can handle my power, but I don't know if Dietrich wants to do that anymore. No, he's, he's been taking the bigger he's shots right. in the exchanges. Hey. He should almost go back to his kicking and his knees. Look at this battle. Laurenti Nelson chopping away at the legs. We've never seen Nelson fight quite like this. He was good, very good against Johnson. He's been great tonight. Yeah, he's just mixing things up really well. He's liking the boxing, mixing the knees. He's chopping the legs, mixing in jump knees. Is Dietrich hurt here? Dietrich, bad body language as Nelson's teeing off in the corner and Dietrich holds on. Yeah, it looks like Dietrich will go out on his shield if he has to. He's keeping his hands down and he keeps swinging back. He'll go out on the shield. Oh! Nice job by Nelson not to just headhunt. He's going downstairs as well. Yeah, back to moving his head off, mixing the knees, chopping right. the inside legs. Watch the holding. Watch the holding. Fight. 30 seconds to go. Amari Diedrich needs something spectacular to happen. Oh, nice straight right for Nelson. And it's a smart move from Nelson, the way he mixes in his clinch and knees after his punches. Because he knows after his combination, Dietrich is going to throw. By entering the clinch and knee, you shut down Dietrich's offense. Big left hook connects for Nelson. What a performance by the South African here tonight. Imagine if he only did kickboxing, Joe. Let's see if he'll specialize after this performance. He just might. We'll make it official when we return and hear from LT Smash. We welcome you back to Chicago. There is Laurentine Nelson. Took the fight on short notice and moved up a weight class for this bout. Yeah, but the first round was all about Amari Diedrich. Stayed very technical, used his stance switching, but something switched in that second round for Nelson. Started getting a little bit more aggressive. Started coming in, pressuring with his boxing, and he started throwing in combinations. And then he was rewarded with that knockdown, but Amari Diedrich really content sitting in the pocket, trying to fight back, and that's why he made for a really exciting fight.
No problem for both guys sitting in there and exchanging. And third round, you saw Nelson really continue to mix the pressure. And what he did really well was he used his boxing. Then he entered with the clinch, landed his knees, and then continued to fire it up with his punches. Great performance from Nelson. Final strike count statistics. Punches, it was Diedrich who landed more, 69 to 116. But kicks and knees belong to the man born in South Africa. Looking at it by round, as Joe mentioned, it was Diedrich who won the first round clearly, but after that, Nelson took over. Tim Hughes now makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance, so we go to the judges' scorecard. All three of our ringside judges see the bout and score the bout the same, 29-27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Laurent Nelson! Both gentlemen, congratulations, gentlemen, on a great fight. Laurent T, man, what a scrap, man. How are you feeling after that fight? Oh, I feel good, bro. You know, a short, short notice turnaround. I'm always training, always, always in shape, but oh. you know, I, I like to have a little more than like a week to get my, my shape fight ready, you know, but I'm always in shape so I know I can come out here and do this. I believe I'm one of the best strikers in the US, bro, so. I'll fight anyone, 155, 170, do it up. I'm going to prove myself here in the U.S. and around the world. This was your first fight at welterweight. Did you feel a difference in, in the size or any of your conditioning? No, I mean, I, I felt really good. It was nice not to, not to have to cut any weight. That's awesome. But, you know, I definitely, definitely some things to get used to, changing up a little. But I felt, I felt just as powerful, fast. <laughs> My cardio was good. Just next one, I'll have a little bit more of a fight camp. Well, you're looking impressive. Chicago, let's hear it for Laurent T. LT Smash. Uh, hope you guys give me someone in the top 10, man. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to fight anyone in the world, bro. Let's do this. All right, let's hear it one more time. LT Smash. He'll fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. And he means it, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one LT Smash.